We're following the very latest developments to improve living conditions at a troubled Indianapolis apartment complex. An RTV6 investigation last week showed you the problems and the dangers at Keystone North Apartments. Our report has now prompted the Indianapolis Housing Authority to send its inspectors out to get their own look at the mess. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt was there with them. Of the more than 300 units here at the Keystone North Apartments, the Indianapolis Housing Authority helps pay rent on at least 10% of them. Inspectors from the Housing Authority demanded an up-close look at the conditions and the return on the investment by tenants and taxpayers. In apartment after apartment, the litany of complaints remain the same. In Christine Cummings' unit, the tub has been stopped up for a month. The walls are peeling, and the toilet in the apartment upstairs leaks into her toilet. This is the problem right here. You see all that yellow? Yeah. That's the pee, the urine. And then, you know, it starts leaking brown. Even worse than leaky plumbing, residents say, is the seeming indifference and delays by management to fix problems that impact heavily on quality of life. All they did was took this board down and um, let it dry and put it back up there. And now it's molded and mildew. Inspectors also found large mold spores and fungus growing on apartment walls in the common areas of the buildings. In the majority of the apartments, it's mold, it's gnats, it's rats, it's mouse. It's just not livable. And with all of the problems inside, residents must also endure the crime outside. In six months, Metro Police have responded to more than 700 trouble calls in Keystone North. I don't let my kids play outside because every other day I hear gunshots. The Housing Authority is tracking the serious safety concerns uncovered by inspectors. He's going over that report now to decide if we should issue a notice of abatement of, of uh, rent payment to uh, uh, Keystone North. The management company will have 24 hours to correct the violations that directly affect the health and safety of the residents. If not, then the Housing Authority can withhold the rent. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. And we now have late word from the Housing Authority. We have learned inspectors failed all 11 apartments checked during that sweep. In fact, conditions were so bad in one unit that it has been terminated from the rent assistance program.